My name's Pierre McFindley. I am a lecturer here at the University of Johannesburg in the Industrial Design Department, and I primarily focus on a subject called digital media. So digital media is a 2D CAD program that is a visual communication tool which essentially communicates information about products to potential users. A few examples of the type of tools that our students learn in this module are things like using photography, realistic rendering, videography or animation. From first year, you start learning exactly how to use those tools that we teach you. So for example, you'll maybe undergo a photography project very specifically. In second year, you really start implementing all of those tools onto your own designs and really learn how to communicate things about your own designs to potential users. And then in third year, one is really expected to then independently make use of those tools to both advertise and communicate information about your own designs. One of the most important things that one learns in a program like this is the process of design thinking, which essentially is something that then you have the ability to go and apply in whatever field you feel is relevant. The design thinking process takes you through investigating a problem, looking at what has already been done and what already exists towards solving that problem. Um, it gives you a selection of tools that are then available to you to take a solution like that forward and really then in product design come up with a very tangible solution to a problem that you have found. Digital media is an important tool to have and an important skill to learn because it can communicate things like human interactions with products. It can communicate the scale of a product or the color variations that it might come in. It can tell a potential user in what context a product might be used. And it's also really useful for marketing a product and communicating the benefits of a product visually. Why I find visual communication really important within product design is that you're not only solving problems through innovative products, but then you also have the skill to communicate that without language. It is a tool that is accessible to anyone. Something that we're really focusing on in the department right now is the use of 4IR, so looking at the fourth industrial revolution and how that impacts design. What I find really important about the fourth industrial revolution is that it's making technology accessible to the individual. So it's not only that massive companies can now only use advanced technologies, but as a small company and also as a relatively remote country, we now have access to technologies that really enable creative design in the world. What industrial design has given me is this really important set of tools that I can apply in everyday life. It gives me tools to investigate problems and unpack problems and understand them really holistically and then also think outside of the norm to come up with really innovative solutions to a certain problem.